Salsa is on the couch and she's out. She knows exactly what's going on. She knows that dog is very smart. She did have an accident here in the morning uh, in the house for the first time, probably about nine or 10 months. So I think she's still feeling a little upset about it. I know dog's supposed to have short-term memory. It's that or uh, she knows I'm leaving. One or the other, she has to look like a very happy puppy right now, but really, really different day today. We have an on-site estate auction here in January. It's kind of unheard of to have estate auctions in the north uh, in the winter uh, because it's so cold out that a lot of people really just don't want to stay outside. Today is a really, really cold day as well. Um, I have Under Armour that I wore back in college. That is actually my first layer. I have a t-shirt. I then have a sweatshirt, I then have this hoodie, and then I'm going to be putting on my Carhartt jacket on top of that. So I am all layered up as you see. As you see, you got the Under Armour, t-shirt, sweatshirt, sweatshirt. And then I'm going to put the jacket on top because it's going to be a cold one. I think the high today is like 22 degrees. So we'll make do. Let's make it a good one and let's find some treasure. Hopefully bring back some treasure here for Salsa to sniff. And make this a fun day. Yeah, get that stretch out. Let's make this a fun day. Let's do it. Alright. I'm just going to take this one. But I think I'm going to take this one. I, I tried this last time. I had a bunch of, bunch of boxes. Because the boxes were wider than the plate. This one has a little extension on it. The tires are a little bit like racing slicks. Look at that, there's no tread. That has tread. This doesn't, all right. Onward. This is actually a double wash bin. It's really nice, I'm white bit on this. I think it would sell better without the cover, even though I feel like the cover is very hard to find. Man, it's chilly out. Some insect sprayers, cookie cutters. This is really nice, really nice. I hope it comes apart in sections. This looks like plexiglass, no, it's glass. Paper and moose is here at this auction. She loves these things. She loves anything with drawers. It's very cool. I don't know. I don't know. Why be bidding on this? Was there food in there? No. I've never That's paper and mouse. moose. She's always been fascinated with refrigerators. Acid resisting. Is that what it is? <laughs> what? It's blue. Uh, it has a section for your ice cream. That's cute. That's kind of cool. I like it. You said I think I think you said selling. Wow, <laughs> that's interesting. Just gotta, just gotta clean it. Oh my gosh. Those are awesome. I need this in my life. <laughs> <laughs> These are great. Are you gonna help me move that desk if I buy it? I think it's, it should be pretty light. All right, I'm gonna try to nice buy that. Color. I just. Is that high enough for you? Yeah, all I'm doing is just banging a hammer on it and smacking around metal. and I really yeah. just want for the vice. Because the vice is already on there. Yeah. And it's a nice color. <laughs> it's a nice color. Yeah, if it's cheap enough. Why Trains. That would be neat to use in decor. I don't know what I have. I'll go with it. <laughs> if you guys don't, don't follow her already, she does have a YouTube channel, Paper and Moose. 
She does a lot of auctions and paper ephemera stuff. So I'll put a link down in the description below. If you guys want to follow her? She'll be doing a video here as well and probably buy some couple couple items. Hopefully. Corningware. That's where all this stuff is. No, this is Corel, I think. Corel by Corning. Yep. Yeah, here's some car wax, all your car cleaning stuff. Got the best spot in the house. It's a nice old box. Well, that's neat. I saw some lead down there. Also, you got some lead. On the board early. On the board early. Now I bought this box. Uh, looks like there's a bunch of machinist tools. Like they emptied a machinist box into this. So I paid two bucks a box. There's gotta be 10, 15 bucks in paint stuff, and then I don't know about these machinist tools. There's a bunch in there. Just have to go through that one time. A nice tray, it comes with it. Fan two, anywhere two? How about a dollar? One dollar. A book, a book, a book. One dollar. 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 Oops. How about a dollar? Isn't that how they do it? Okay, so, all right, now, write a dollar. What if I said a dollar? <laughs> Alrighty, got my favorite box here of the day. I think this will sell. It's the uh, N2, uh, I think, a uh, umbrella. Brass. I'm not going to scrap that. That older baseball bat. AT&T. Some lead weights. Some screws. But definitely that brass thing is kind of cool. One more time at a dollar. Dollar I have now two. Two, two, around two, but around two, anywhere two. We sold one dollar, number 40. One dollar, number 40. Take that card All right, piling it in. Paper moose is helping me out. Are putting anything in? Do you want any of it? You can have any of it. There's really nothing. So I paid a dollar for all this stuff. Want that? Yeah. yeah, you can have that. Photos on oh, that'd be perfect for photos. Oh, all right, perfect. Oh, there you go. Thank Stacked you. Perfectly. <laughs> Stacked perfectly. Yeah. I like the little joke there. Stacking isn't too bad today. I brought a hand truck, thinking I might need it, but I don't think I will. All righty. So I spent a whopping eight dollars and eighty cents. Um, the snow outside's getting really bad. And I don't think I'll be able to make it back if I wait too much longer. Um, so I was waiting for the double wash bin and he was going the other way in that room, so probably within an hour. And I think an hour, this is not gonna be, uh, not gonna be doable. Sorry, probably about an inch and a half out here. It's crazy. Do a little recap when I get back. But really snowing. And poor Van. It's probably the worst van in history of vans to possibly drive in the snow. It's front wheel drive. So hopefully I make it home. If not, maybe I'll get a new van. So I'll probably do things. This is miserable. It's a good thing I left while I did, because it's going to get worse, but my uh traction control thing keeps popping up on the screen. Last time I did that, that's actually when I blew up my transmission. I blew up my transmission the first time when there was uh, snow on the ground. That's why I realized this van just doesn't go places in the snow, so. 
Hopefully they let me in, considering how crazy this is. People serious. All right, thanks. Holy moly, this is going to be chaotic. All righty. Wow. That was a uh, very stressful driving. Uh, it's it's a lot different driving like an SUV or even a car than driving a van, especially a van with front wheel drive in the snow. It's, uh, it's kind of stressful, I'll be honest. Like I kind of think of myself as a good driver, never been in accidents, kind of very situational awareness is pretty high, but this thing was not fun. But I got a bunch of random things. I spent a whopping total of $8, so I really didn't spend much. I bought two Rolots, but there wasn't really anything too spectacular in it. We got some glassware, some stemware. Um, that was in the row, so this was one of the things that I saw early on. A whiskey bottle. Huh. FC Booze's Whiskey. This got to be new. That goes to a lamp. I was talking a little bit about this in a, a, another video where this, these are sometimes brass. This is actually really nice. I like that. It's new. Oh, it's handmade in Italy. We we'll have to check that out. That's gorgeous. Another thing you should never do is ever pick up one of these things by the handle, like what I'm doing right now, because some of them are just decorative handles, and out goes the bottom on you. What's even in here? Oh, that's ribbon. Fake flowers. Some more stuff over here. I thought I bought more stuff. Oh, this, this is another nice tray lot that I got in that row. Like this hobnail stuff. Doesn't really sell. There were some really nice colorful ones in the uh, the higher end area that they have at the sale. Like the uh, individuals. I don't know. You call them tray lots, essentially. I think they're called tray lots is the right word. Uh, I really do like that kind of stuff, but it doesn't sell. It's one of those things that just doesn't sell. This is like a seashell, like a clamshell maybe, in your milk glass. Uh, some brassware, some other things as well, some cups. If uh, Gary V was here, Gary V is a big entrepreneur guy all across social media. He loves his mugs. There's some mugs in there, but they're not the same kind of mugs he really loves. Uh, I got a bunch of other random things, some smalls, some tools. My favorite thing is definitely this piece. This brass, I guess it's an eagle. Very, very cool. I think I'll, I can sell that for uh, 10 15 maybe. If I go to Lambertville, whenever I do go to Lambertville, uh, I'm going to try to make up tray lots and stuff like that because I think that kind of stuff sells there. Uh, but it was overall another fun day. I know I left uh, slightly early, not really too early. I mean, probably had about another hour, hour and a half to go. Uh, the reason why I left is because of the snow. I did not get that workbench. I was the second highest bidder. I bid up to $27. So the other guy got for $27. With virus premium, it would have been around $30, $31. So I figured if I'm ever going to get a bench, I'm going to get a legit one. And I can definitely get it at auction because I've seen them at auctions go for $10, $15 all all time. Uh, in terms of a workbench with a vice. So that's that. Uh, I didn't stay around for the wash bin. I tried to, but... When he got into the one room where the wash bin was, he went the opposite way. And I was like, you know what? He's going the opposite way, so it's going to be an hour before he gets to that. Rather than starting at that section, he started the other side. So didn't didn't think with the weather I could stick around and get home safely. I did have some trouble, actually. Two roads over, there's like a slight incline to get onto the state road. And my van was just spinning. So 10, 15 minutes from now, probably wouldn't be able to make it. And as always, no plows are in sight. So it is what it is. It was a fun adventure. If you guys want to check out Paper Moose's channel as well, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, I know she'll probably be going to Lamberville with me whenever we do decide to go because she has a lot of bigger items and I have the van that can take it. So put a link down below. Check her out. Subscribe to her channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe down below and smack the like button if you guys enjoyed it. As always, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.